meal held its first holiday at their new location, although not without some challenges. As News Channel 3's Ariana Mint shares, the organization says they're in a bit of a transition phase. A holiday dinner with all the fixins. We have ham, scalloped potatoes, mac and cheese, carrots. Man and meal helping to feed the community. It's their first holiday in their new location, the Garnett Career Center. The organization paused its in-person dining after incidents near the site, including a deadly stabbing in September in the church's parking lot. Earl Turner with Man and Meal says the organization is in a transition phase. We give them a little more than food for the belly. We try to give them something for the soul as well. Man and Meal uses the kitchen at St. John's Episcopal Church to prep food, but uses food trucks to transport and serve. People can also go enjoy their meal inside, and once they're done, they can pick up some desserts like pumpkin pie, apple pie, pecan pie, and they can bag it up to go. Man and Meal Executive Director Amy Wolf says the most important thing was giving people the chance to get indoors and enjoy a warm meal. So it definitely doesn't feel as homey. We're trying to recreate that the best we can. You know, we're looking forward to the beginning of the year to, you know, to make some adjustments here to make it feel more warm and inviting with painting and the lighting and some different things. Wolf says there's still work and upgrades to be done before the cafeteria style dining returns. Ariana Mintz, WSAZ News Channel 3, Charleston. Oh, Man and Meal serves food daily, and their food pantry is open every day as well. For more information on Man and Meals, you can visit WSAC.com.